and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is the first video of 2016 and as you will have seen from the title, it's another Primark haul, my favourite videos to watch and to film. Before I start, I would like to wish everyone a happy new year and I uh, just wanted to get some feedback from you really. Um, so for 2016, one of my big resolutions is to make more content for viewers so both here on YouTube and also on my blog which has just had the most amazing makeover and I'm so proud of it so if you haven't visited make sure you check out the link in the box below um, but as I say I would like to be able to incorporate a little bit more content into it and film a few more YouTube videos so if anybody's got any ideas of videos you'd like to see anything you'd like reviewed etc please leave a comment in the box below and I'll see what I can do but back to the task in hand the Primark haul. So, I unfortunately I can't show you the size of the bag from today because, as always happens when I go to Primark, my cat is currently in the Primark bag. I don't know whether anyone else has a cat that does this, but Willow loves Primark bags and as soon as I come in the door with it, whether I've taken the stuff out or not, she will get in it, curl up and go to sleep and that's her for the afternoon. So, it's currently occupied, So, but it is one of the big bags and it is actually double bagged. Not sure I needed two bags, but never mind. Um, so I actually went into Primark looking for a couple of bits and pieces and sadly only found one of them. Didn't manage to find any of the others, so a bit of a fail. However, as per usual with Primark, doesn't matter what I go in for, I always end up coming out with other stuff. Probably that I don't necessarily need, but that's how Primark gets you. They suck you in with all this prettiness. So, anyway, on to the first item. So first up we have this lovely rose gold copper travel mug. I have three or four travel mugs, so why I need another one I'm not quite sure, but I just love the colour of this one, and it's just so pretty, and for £3.50 I really couldn't say no to it, so my husband's going to go mad when he sees this, but never mind. <laughs> Next up from the home department, I also have got a couple of really, really nice candles. I am a bit obsessed with Primark candles, it's the packaging, the price, and also the scents. They seem to have really, really stepped up their game since they really sort of embrace their homeware department and these are some of two of the new scents that they do I think there's about five or six of them so first up I've got white tea and peony which just smells amazing and then the other one is lotus flower which is also just as nice they're both quite fresh um, the smell, the smell, the scent that I love from Primark is actually the pineapple and ginger but that is quite heavy these two are a little bit sort of more spring like and refreshing um, and I can't wait to burn them and I really really do like them and as I say the packaging I'm just a sucker for anything pretty really so I've got those then next up I have a few items from the beauty department so from the PS love this range I have a facial cleansing pad the kind that you slip on your finger and then rub your um, what's the word face wash that's the word I was looking for the face wash into your face um, this was £1.50 it is something I was going to purchase from Boots but they were a little bit more expensive I wanted to incorporate it into my new um, New Year's cleansing routine um, and so yeah for £1.50 I thought this is pretty good and you know it's going to do what it says on the tin the other thing is one of the egg makeup sponges so this is basically just a really cheap dupe for the beauty blender if you haven't seen them already um, £1.50 and yes, I realise Beauty Blender probably works a hundred times better than this, but actually these wash well, they apply my makeup really, really nicely. And to be perfectly honest, I don't want to spend that amount of money on a, basically what is a sponge. So for £1.50, I'm quite happy with these. But if you want a very, very good dupe for the Beauty Blender, make sure you head to Primark and check these out. Then, ooh, check this on the floor. Then also from the Beauty Range, I <laughs> couldn't resist these two. So... I saw these two on somebody's Instagram account and just thought they were so cute. The large green makeup bag is £4 and is perfect size for, you know, all of your toiletries and stuff and it has a really, really nice little zip pocket on the inside there. And then the little orange one was £3 and is the perfect size for my makeup. Also very roomy and again with a little zippy pocket, perfect for contact lenses, that kind of thing. But I just thought the two of these for £7, they just make such a cheeky duo. And I just really, really like them. And I'm a bit of a sucker, again, for Primark makeup bags. Can't get enough of them, me. <laughs> Next up we have... Oh, excuse me. Next up we have the item that I did actually manage to find that was on my list. 
so I saw on somebody's Instagram account from the Spring 16 press day a pair of lilac pink framed um, Dior dupe sunglasses and I actually didn't manage to find those today but I will keep looking but I managed to find a tortoiseshell pair so these ones as I said are a dupe for the excuse the packaging for the Dior Surreal sunglasses with the no nose part if that makes any sense they don't have a bridge on the nose um but they're really really nice they fit really really nicely they actually feel quite sturdy as well because some cheap sunglasses feel very flimsy these don't and for three pounds with a little case that comes too i actually thought these were really really good as i say i'm keeping my eyes peeled for the lilac ones as well but for the moment I am actually really really happy with these so make sure you check out my post that is coming actually on Dior dupes because I found a couple of other pairs that are amazing and at a fraction of the price of the real thing so that's those then finally just a couple of clothing bits so the first thing I picked up is this really really nice quite sort of thick knit tee um, it's a slightly longer length tee and then it has this really really beautiful love Paris um, picture with some really really nice rose gold writing rose gold again um, and this one was seven pounds and I just thought this was a really really nice t-shirt nice and sort of comfortable relaxed and I actually really really like this color it's something that I definitely want to invest in and very on trend for spring 16 then finally the last things I got were just a couple of really really simple which I don't really need to show you these but the really really simple white basic vest tops so I got two of the slouchy ones for £1.80 in the white and also in the really really nice sort of chambray denim colour and then I got one of the slightly more fitted stretch ones in white um, these are just so they're just so nice and easy they wash well they last really really nicely they don't go bobbly and to be perfectly honest they're just basic pieces that I layer on under jumpers and things so they are really really good quality and I will definitely be going back for some more for the summer and that is actually it for the Primark portion of this I do however as I say have two more items that I'm going to show you these were just extra bits that I bought today so first of all I have these beautiful Vans-esque sneakers from New Look I have a couple of pairs of these already I have a really really nice black croc pair and a lilac snakeskin pair that I had for the summer but when I spotted these ones I just thought they've got a really really nice sort of tweed upper which is in sort of a brown blue caramel white colorway and I just thought they were so nice they are the only kind of trainers that I wear I really struggle with casual wear and these just really really work for me they fit into my life look really great with um, skinny jeans and are just super comfortable and for 14 99 they are just the perfect buy so make sure you head to new look because these are amazing and yeah I really really like these and I can't wait to start wearing them so that's those and then finally the last item I went into Primark to look for a bag this morning it was one of the items on my list couldn't find the one I wanted and was a bit disappointed they had a lot but Primark bags I tend to find some of them are really really nice and they look quality others just look really plasticky and unfortunately we were edging towards plastic this morning which is not good so I popped into Urban Outfitters and I love Urban Outfitters accessories and home stuff and books and things. They just they have such a chic collection and they always have the most amazing things in there. Anyway, I found this bag and I was really, really pleased because it is just the kind of thing I wanted. A really, really nice, very simple satchel style, very classic, but with a lot of really, really nice detailing, gold hardware, nice and big inside as well with a zip pocket. And a really really nice long how's it do it that way a really really nice long strap to it um perfect for when i go to paris in april for my 30th i wanted something that was big enough to carry everyday stuff around in but something that went across body so i you know i can hold on to it sort of thing um to keep it safe and so went for this one 36 pounds which i did think was a little bit steep considering it isn't real leather it's just you know pu but when I got to the till, it actually turned out to be in the sale and was only £12. So the Primark one I wanted to get was 7 this was 12 
So for the extra £5, I am actually so impressed and I cannot wait to start using this one. And it's just making me really excited for Paris as well, which is always good. So that is it. That is the end of my haul. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please hit the thumbs up and give it a like down the bottom. And also, as I said before, check out my blog and leave me any feedback. Uh, it would be amazing. And also, if you can hit that subscribe button, that would be amazing. So I will see you soon for another video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.